time to declutter. Like, get rid of stuff. I, I got rid of so much in a short period of time that it was amazing. I, I don't know why I kept it for 10, 15 years when in three months I, I got rid of a pile of it. And see, so here is my way of folding the Marie style so I can just grab one out and enjoy not having to refold the rest or not rifle through everything. And it just makes a huge difference. Take all your resources and uh, go ahead and learn from them. It looks way better. I mean, the whole room's not done. So I'm not done my KonMari journey. I'm not done my clutter bug decluttering, but I learned I'll point you the direction of what is going to work for you. I was thinking I needed all these extreme, perfect organizing solutions. And in reality, I needed to do KonMari declutter. Uh, I needed some of Taylor's ideas on storage and decluttering, but I really needed Cass's idea of what's going to work for me. I like hiding stuff away in drawers. I like simple and easy to make it work for me because all that intricate stuff that I think is traditional and perfect way of storing stuff doesn't really work for me because I'm not going to take that extra time. I'd love to, and once in a while I will take all that time and, and get it done, but then I won't keep it up. I won't follow through and keep it that way. Uh, I love Josh, Joshua Becker from The Minimalist. Minimalism? Uh, he is fantastic, some of his ideas. So um, I th think I want to go towards minimalism, but I'm probably not going to go totally as far as some people think minimalism is. Um, <clears throat> but I know I don't need all this extra stuff. So I know that like Dana White, her, her idea of doing my dishes, just do your dishes. I, yeah, totally on board with that. Got a video there for that. It, I made it into my morning habit and nighttime habit. And I followed her and all of her, a lot of her ideas that work for me. Um, I love Peter Walsh. Because does this clutter make my butt look fat or big? Does my this clutter make my butt look big? Was one of the first books on clutter that I read and checked out. It was fantastic. And I think I got rid of four garbage bags just on his ideas. And of letting go and not having to keep everything that everybody gave to me. Especially when some of them weren't even in my life anymore. So they're never going to see it. So if I never liked it in the first place. And those people proved not to be good people anyways and don't deserve to be in my life well why am I still keeping all the stuff that reminds me of them and I never liked anyway and so take your your cues from all over the place you know if, try to have those conversations in a nice way if you're trying to help somebody else declutter um when you are living in a house with other people with other clutter styles or uh your clutter threshold according to Dana White now my clutter threshold is not as high as I thought it was. I used to love having lots of stuff. But the more I grow and learn about how my unhealthy attachment to stuff isn't helping me, the more I, I kind of like minimalism. Um, except for I probably will never be minimalist with my clothing or pretties and have a few collections. But I realize I don't need to keep all the clothing in four sizes bigger and four sizes smaller because I don't want to be the person that's way off and, and has a house full of clothing that I, I'm never going to use. Um, you know, it, there's, there's so much that just this corner will show and I'm going to have other videos of other areas that I've cleaned up and gone through and don't just shift it from one floor to the other or all the way into the garage only. I had a one bedroom apartment and I filled a three bedroom house. So some of it's got to go. Um, live in the space you have, enjoy the space you have, love the space you have. It's what you have right now. If you know you're moving really soon, then I guess you can kind of prepare for that. But the best way to prepare is 
If you're going to move it, move it once. Move it to your new home if it's something you want or need to use. Move it to the trash if it's trash and you've been just putting it off. If it's trash, it's trash. It's done. If you have multiples and you have limited space, you really don't need the multiples, do you? Think about it. Do you? Do you really need those multiples? I don't need four can openers if I'm only one person opening a can at a time. Really? You know, think about it. Um, instead of buying more furniture and more furniture and more furniture, which I used to do, because the more I could hide in a drawer, the better it was. So I always thought I needed more storage space. I learned I had to declutter, let her go. And I used to do that. And then I stopped. So I guess I have to have some videos on that mindset. Because it is a mindset. You have to teach yourself to let things go and get rid of things. So even if you're just doing one item a day out the door, then it's worth it. You know, you can um, pick an item every day and then put it on social media for sale every Friday and see what goes. And give yourself a timeline of if this hasn't sold by this time, I'm going to change it into a yard sale item or it's just going to get donated. Because sometimes it's just stuff people aren't going to really want to go out of their way to get unless they're picking up a whole bunch of other stuff with it. Uh, we have big sale up at the arena uptown here too, where people donate and it gets donated to a great cause. So I can call them up and they'll pick up a whole bunch of big items if I don't have a vehicle to move them because I don't have a truck. And so they'll pick them up and move them. Uh, I could put it out at the curb and put a free sign on it and see how fast it goes because that often happens and it can, people drive by and go, oh, hey, cool, thanks. And they load it up and it's gone. I've had items gone that quickly. So there's a lot of different ways to declutter and we're going to explore them. And there's a lot of mindsets accordingly. So a lot of thought training that you have to do. And you can do this. You can get your shit together. So join us. Follow me. Hit like. Hit subscribe. Hit follow on uh, my other social media platforms or my blog. Or sometimes I'll show post pictures there that I haven't done videos and podcasts on. You can listen to me on six different, seven different podcast uh, stations and styles. So then you can be learning your tips and tricks to a better life and a better mindset and a healthier, happier day as you're doing some decluttering. And even if it's just five minutes a day with a healthier habit, five minutes of cleaning, five minutes of taking care of me because I, I deserve self-care and five minutes of decluttering, that's 15 minutes, another five minutes of getting ready for tomorrow which will probably save you 10 or 15 minutes of pulling your hair out in the morning. There's a video on that. Uh, not the hair pulling, the getting ready. And, you know, morning and night rituals. There's, there's so many different ways you can learn to get your shit together. So follow, join, comment, share, and we can do this. You can do this because I'm doing it. And it's getting better. And, and look how beautiful the room looks. Like, isn't it fantastic? It's not perfect. I mean, but it's me and it's what I like.